Greetings gentlemen and ladies, Old School Game Snob here. In today's video I'm just going to show you how to uh, change your Niagara particle uh, system emitter to uh, from continuously playing over and over on loop uh, to just playing one time. Let's take a look at that. So go ahead and open up your Niagara system effect and uh, what you're going to be looking for is this little starting point here. Um, of course, these are all the different uh, effects that are applied, and each one, each Niagara effect has this sort of starting node, and in that you're going to be looking for a system update. Now in system update you will see loop behavior, right now it's set to infinite, I'm going to change that to once, and that will of course play at once. You can see we're in the timeline that is currently playing for me. Now you may need to and or want to adjust your... Uh, your timeline. You can uh, adjust where it starts playing and where it ends playing from by adjusting these little handles right here. This little blue one, this little red one. Uh, so you can kind of figure out what part of the effect you actually want to to play when it gets played. Uh, for me, it seems to uh, be playing right now off the bat. It seems to be getting it pretty good. So I'm going to be like, that's okay. But sometimes I've had to adjust that handle. And like I say, guys, I'm pretty new at this, so I'm still figuring things out. So a lot of this is so I don't forget later. But now you can see I only play the effect one time. Unless I hold down the button and do auto fire. That's a whole other thing. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it, you guys. That's how to set your Niagara effect to play just one time and also like I say how to pick certain sections of it if you need to just with these little timeline handles. Additionally I should probably point out that my uh, muzzle effect here actually has uh, some custom stuff written into it, a user loop time that just sort of sets for how long to loop for. You will probably see something like this that speaks of loop duration and again like I say now you can see when I've taken off that custom loop time and I don't know how that was set up but I'm trying to figure that out. You can see it plays for a full five seconds and that is where adjusting the handlebars and the timing and things like that may come into effect. Uh, for me yeah with this little loop muzzle, muzzle effect pack it's kind of built into whoever created this. I don't know how that works. Seems like a handy thing to learn. I have to learn how that works one day. In the meantime yeah I just wanted to add add that onto this video because you can you know shorten your loop duration here you know one second or whatever and then adjust where it plays from with the little handlebars and down here or at least is my understanding if I got that wrong let me know in the comments but I think that's how it works. Alright see you guys later.